looking here, we have a lot to choose from. I'm going to start first with the drum mics. The 602, a dynamic microphone. Very tight bass. Great for right in the sound hole of the, of the bass drum. Okay, Wonderful sound. Not too, uh, too bright. You really don't want to have that happen. It's EQ'd for the bass drum specifically. Okay, But you can try these things on other things too. Maybe a cello. Uh, maybe a, a stand-up bass. Things of that sort. Um, feel free to try it on things of that nature. Okay? Uh, the 602, the E602. Now, thinking, thinking about a bass drum, a new one that we have is the E901. Now, this one's a condenser microphone, so you need to send 48 phantom into this one. So it's uh, very sensitive. Um, it's EQ'd for the bass drum. But what I like about this one is I can lay this one right into a bass drum. And if I want more attack, I'll get it closer to the, to the mallet. If I want less attack, I'll pull it back. In fact, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take this one and a combination of this one as well. So I have this one at the sound hole, and then this one I'll put inside the bass drum, and then separate them where, where it sounds best, and then I got two microphones on that, on that drum, and I'll, I'll change the levels accordingly to see what's going to mix best together. So a great way to go. Now, what's nice about this one too is, is some of the, the competition have a little three pin uh, TA3 connector on here. Um, we were able to do the electronics inside it, so you can put a full XLR into the back of it and send 48 phantom into it. It's a pressure zone microphone. A pressure zone microphone means that there's a capsule in here and it's got a flat plate, so a lot of the um, frequencies that are coming in from the bass drum are coming in, bouncing off that plate, and coming into the capsule. Okay, and that's how a pressure zone microphone works. It's a very efficient system uh, and gives you a lot of gain.